Hi guys, today I want to show you three different creative ways to transform your Pinterest profile cover to help you showcase your business and make you stand out from your competitors. I recently discovered that you can actually add a video to a Pinterest profile cover. Did you know about that? So I'll be showing you exactly how to do this, how to create a video for your Pinterest banner step by step using just Canva. Finally, we'll upload that completed video profile cover together in Pinterest so you can see just how easy it is. Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you've not been here before, I'm Nikki Pasquier and I help small business owners like you successfully market their brands online using some of the best tips, tricks and tools. For this tutorial, all you will need is a Pinterest business account and a Canva free account or Canva Pro. So if you're ready to get started, let's hop over to my Canva desktop. So first of all, let me just share with you what Pinterest says about editing your profile cover. So you can customize your profile cover and upload an image if you have a Pinterest business account. In terms of Pinterest banner size for this year, that's 2021, Pinterest advises that it must be at least 800 pixels wide and 450 pixels tall. And they recommend using a horizontal image with a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Now that's really easy. So let me just pop over to my Canva desktop. And the template that fits this exact size ratio is the presentation template. So I'm just gonna click on this once to bring up a blank presentation template onto my Canva desktop. And let's start off by creating a branded banner using a single image. So you can use a photograph, maybe from a brand photo shoot. Or if you sell products, you could upload a photograph of your latest product launch. You can change your Pinterest banner whenever you want. So you can use it temporarily to draw attention to a new product launch or event. All I've done here is upload a photograph of a product and I've added some text using my own brand fonts. You can use a mixture of photos or graphics like this one I created, or just graphics. It's entirely up to you. You can even make your own collage using Canva's grid elements. Go to the Canva sidebar and click on elements. Scroll down until you find grids. Choose how many pictures you want to use and click on the grid once to upload it to your template. Now you can go ahead and drag images into your collage. When you come to download your completed banner, if you're using images only, click on the downward arrow here, select your file type, select PNG high quality image. And I recommend that you increase the size of your image twice, so double the size of your image before downloading it. This will ensure that when you come to upload it to Pinterest, it will be a lovely sharp image. Now let's take a look at how to create that Pinterest banner with video. If you're enjoying this tutorial so far, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any further tutorials. First of all, you must have claimed your website or claimed your Instagram, Etsy or YouTube account in order to upload a video. So I'm gonna show you what this means by hopping over to my own Pinterest account. I'm going to click on the business tab at the top left-hand corner of my screen and click on business hub. And you'll see here, I'm prompted to connect my accounts. I'm gonna click on connect account. And I've already connected my website, but if you don't know how to do this, all you need to do is click on claim and there are three ways you can connect your website to Pinterest. You can copy and paste a HTML tag by clicking on this button here, click to copy. You can upload an HTML tag to your website's root directory by clicking on the download tab here. Or you can add a TXT record to your website by clicking on the tab to copy it. Once done, you click on continue type in your website URL address 
and then click on verify. Once done, go through the next steps to connect your Instagram account if you'd like, your Etsy or your YouTube account. I must admit, I did struggle to find many accounts that have used video banners, probably because they don't know how to do this. So now is the time to make a splash and showcase your business using a video. Easel have used their banner to showcase the wonderful features available to help businesses create eye-catching graphics. And it's very similar to Canva. So if you've not investigated Easel just yet, I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out. Pinterest also recommends that you use horizontal videos with an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. Well, that is really simple because I'm going to go back into Canva and use exactly the same presentation template as I did to create an image. There are two ways that you can create a video banner for Pinterest using Canva. You can upload a single brand video and to do that, you just go to the uploads tab in the sidebar and click on Upload Media. Once uploaded, you'll find your video under the Videos tab. Scroll down until you find the video that you want to add to your template. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to resize it slightly so that it fits the template. So this is actually a little video I created of my own website homepage. If you need to trim your video, what you need to do is go up to your Canva toolbar on the left hand side and click on this little scissors icon. Select one of the sidebars, hold down with your cursor and drag it along the timeline. You can do exactly the same with the opposite sidebar. Once you've finished trimming your video, all you need to do is click on done. Sadly, there's no point in adding any music to your video because currently all Pinterest video banners are muted, but maybe that's something that will change in the future. If you don't have a video of your own, don't worry. Click on the presentation template again to bring up a blank template onto your desktop and you can go ahead and create videos by stringing together multiple pages. So let me show you what I mean by that. I created my own Pinterest video banner by combining a selection of static photos, graphics. I added some canvas stickers. I even added a little video snippet to one of the pages. On the final page, I added a call to action with an eye catching sticker, encouraging my viewers to get in touch by clicking the links below. That's important to remember at this stage that Pinterest suggests that your videos must be four seconds long at least, but can be five minutes maximum. Okay, that's fine. But if you're creating a video out of static images like this, how do you tell how long that video is going to be when downloaded? Well, it's actually very simple and you'll need to know how to use this timer feature right here. So if you don't know how to do this, what I would suggest you do before attempting this particular part of the tutorial is to check out the video that I created a couple of months ago about adjusting this little timer feature. So I'll leave the link below so you can check it out later. Once you've finished your design, you'll need to download it by clicking on this little arrow here, selecting the file type as a MP4 video, and that's very important. Select the pages you want. So I want all pages one to eight, click on done and then download. And you can check the progress of your download right here at the bottom. And here is that same video playing on my Pinterest banner. So let me just show you how to upload an image or a video to your banner. You're going to click on this little pencil icon here and then you can either drag and drop your image or your video into this box here or you can upload it from your own device. Once uploaded you can check to see what your video or image looks like in this window here and once you're happy all you need to do is click on the red save button and that's what your final video will look like. I think you've got to agree that is pretty eye-catching. So that is it and that's how easy it is to create three different really eye-catching Pinterest profile covers.
So how many of you are going to be creating that banner using a video? Let me know in the comments box by giving me a yes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, why not share it with your friends if you think it's going to be useful to them? Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, just leave them in the comments box below and I will see you in the next tutorial.